welcome to my car. Um, I'm in Glastonbury right now because I'd like to show you my favourite shops in Glastonbury High Street and a couple of little tips if you're a tourist and stuff like that. So my first tip is that I'm in the car park of Morrison's which is free and it's just a short walk to the high street uh, so it's good to park here and then walk up. There's also cash machines here uh, which I'm going to head to first because I don't have any cash outs and the queues for the two cash machines in the high street can get a little bit busy depending on the day and today is Tuesday so it's market day uh, so there's probably going to be a couple of lines not that, not big lines, I'm just lazy The path I'm showing you starts by the cash machine and um, you'll be able to spot this pretty easily you literally just follow this, go around I'm sure there's going to be lots of other people going this way um, and yeah, you just do it Oh, and uh, there's a pink vintage car I love and if you look every time I go past. And then you come out here, which is just opposite, sort of part of the Abbey, so you can see that there. And then you head to the Glastonbury High Street. Okay, first shop here. I have to ask for permission first, but it's called Hiruka. And this is inside of the shop. <laughs> it's moving silly. Uh, it is my mum's favourite shop on High Street, I think. They usually have a sale rail outside. Uh, they, this one is filming this because they had a big sale, but it's really good. They also show different handmade items for different people and show little things, little jewellery. It's kind of pricey, but it's like, you know, homemade and really good quality. And it's a nice little thing to be there. Okay, now we went market. Um, that stool is every market in the area, <laughs> don't worry about missing it. But the rest of these are fairly sort of Glastonbury local, I mean that one obviously isn't, that's a very typical marketplace, that's very Glastonbury-ish. Um, again, market days are on Tuesday, I just, honestly, it took a while to walk all the way around, so I just sped it up, time in the video, that kind of thing. Okay, so that was just a brief look at some of the market stalls they have here. Um, now behind me, right there, is the entrance to Glastonbury Abbey. Uh, it's not free, it's not National Trust, uh, but that's the entrance to it. And then right there are the Glastonbury Assembly Halls, which is where they have a couple of fairs, uh, a couple of times a year. You know, the witches one, the fairy one, but the fairs are, are lovely, absolutely gorgeous. They have beautiful artwork, they have uh, beautiful clothes and things people make. I bought these antlers that I'm wearing from the, at the last one I went to. Uh, so look up what time, what event's going on if you can uh, visit Glastonbury because it's so worth going to those things. It's free entry. Uh, they do have a ball which isn't free in, on the Saturday evenings. Um, and I've been to one of those as well. It was so much fun. Every, so they have themes and my uh, my mum was labyrinth themed and everyone was dressed up. So like, oh, it was brilliant. I don't actually know the name of the next shop but it's uh, this one here. They sell very old, typical Glastonbury style type of clothes. They often have baskets outside with uh, like bargains of things that didn't go wrong when they are dyed and things like that. Uh, yeah, got a couple of things from there. It's really nice. Uh, atmosphere as well as the clothes and oh, the, the smell is lovely. Oh, it used to be the only place in Somerset to sell hair dye. And um, another thing about Glastonbury High Street is that uh, they close very early. A lot of shops close. If it's not in tourist season, um, then they tend to shut about three-ish, most of them. Sometimes they don't open at all if it's on a, like, on a Sunday or a weekday. Oh, I've reached the next one. Okay, I'm going to ask if I'm allowed to film it. Uh, so, and show you some bits. Oh, my horns. The magpie's nest. I literally only just discovered this at the Frost Fair recently. And I love this shop. It's got the cutest, like, teddy bears. And then they've got, like, steampunk things and kind of, like, quirky things. And it's kind of magical, kind of gothy, kind of steampunk. And then it's... I don't know. I just... I mean, look at those foxes. And, like, oh, it, it's... Yeah, it's really cool to go. And it's definitely... Like, you can really see what it's called in Magpie's Nest. Oh, look at those stuffed toys. They're so cute. Okay, so this is Laura Lulu's Vintage and Retro Boutique. Uh, it's closed at the moment, so it's a vintage shop, obviously. It's more of like a, yeah, like a retro, quirky kind of vintage, uh, so that's really nice. Okay, 
Okay, right now I'm standing in the doorway of another clothes shop that I like. It's called Man, Myth and Magic. Um, and it's just opposite um, the street I just showed you down. Inside they sell lots of jewellery. They sell a couple of swords, a couple of statues. Um, mostly jewellery. If you manage to find it open, I definitely have a look. Uh, okay, and then time to move in the food of the shops next door. Okay, so I'm heading to my next favourite one shop. But uh, in between these, there is a toy shop, kids shop called Little Imps. And it's got the most amazing display. I don't have kids, but if you do, I'd go and have a look. Okay, unfortunately, this shop is um, doing cat stuff and they'll be back in 20 minutes. So we'll come back later and show you. So I'm back at the Cat and Cauldron and um, I'm in a love book section. So I was just eating. <laughs> As you can see, they do fiction and non fiction books and they do so many bits and bobs. Uh, they sell uh, cauldrons, they sell skulls and circlets and goblets and so many books. They have a few clothes and they have lots of incense and candles and stuff like that. I mean, this is probably one of the more authentic witch type of shops that are out there in here. Um, Witchcraft Limited is a company that used to own a lot of shops in Glastonbury, um, but now it's just this one. Imaginarium had a bit of like a rebranding um, maybe so a year ago last year. It used to just be all kind of old lady kind of uh, gifts and souvenirs but now it's kind of this magical statue place with these lovely displays and then they also have like gothic -y statues and they have Disney stuff like lovely Disney statues and punk Disney clothes or like alternative like what Alice in Wonderland they have like jewellery like Harry Potter jewellery and Once Upon a Time. Basically, I would have just loved it when I was a teenager, especially since they also sell hair dye. Okay, that's it for part one. Click here for part two. In the meantime, enjoy this wonderful mural on the side of Glastonbury Wall, which will probably be painted over soon. I uh, hope to see you in the next video. Bye!